How do you do? Welcome back to the show. Let's talk about a couple of results from this past weekend. You had Saigon Cup mm -hmm. in Saigon. Mm -hmm. And you also had Clutch, formerly Naptown Clutch. Now I guess they just want to be called Clutch. Oh, really? Okay, because I noticed you've just been calling it Clutch. And That's what like, they called it. Oh, interesting. Okay. Anyway, um, let's talk about Saigon Cup first. Sure. Um, I guess I, one thing before we even talk about it, you know, I kind of made a little comment on Twitter that all of a sudden everyone started kind of, it became a way bigger deal than I thought it was going to be. Or, you know, there was at one point in time where there was literally no commentary ah. on the stream for a short period of time. They had Marn and Sien on there mm -hmm. for a bunch. Top 8 was, was Marn and GamerB doing commentary. And, you know, I kind of made a comment that I was just like, you know, I feel like tournaments shouldn't rely on just, hey, let's hope person jumps on there. They should always have people lined up and ready to go for commentary. And then I even tried to avoid Pose Law, which is apparently, you know, like, um, everything is taken seriously on the internet unless you put, like, a smiley next to it ah. or something like that. So I was like, in other words, fly me out. I need the work, smiley face. Ah. And I guess a lot of people kind of focused on that part and got mad at me and they're like they can't afford like this is a small see, tournament I see. and i was like no that's like it's like my I, I honestly i didn't get that as the joke either to be honest yeah uh, it was just it was just supposed to be like a small little aside the main part was that you know you should hire commentators ahead of time even if they don't cost anything right like not arrange them yeah yeah Maybe just accurate, just yeah. have commentators ahead of time yeah. and stuff and you know the thing about it is i had a lot of people also agree with it as well you know a lot of people were liking the tweet and everything like that and i was like yeah but it's a badly worded tweet so i deleted it and everything like okay. that but you know the main thing is that you know i would like to point out you know no disrespect to the saigon cup team or anything like that but you know i just this is not even their fault too because this happened at final round Remember? Yeah, yeah. Final round, the Dragon Ball pools was like that. They just literally two people just yeah, jumped man. up there. That's how grand, literally grand finals was like that. Right. For Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. It was literally Tasty Steve and Katana Prime being like, hey, how about we do it? Right. And you did Injustice <laughs> the same way. Yeah, there, I did right? That's right. Yeah. Uh, West Coast Warzone was like that. West Coast Warzone literally was like, um, hey, Stupendous and Sherry Genix get on the mic that's and right, do that's commentary. Right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It happens. Right. It's not, it wasn't like, hey, you're, you're bad, Saigon Cup. It was just more of that was the one that made me go, look, this needs to stop okay. kind of thing like that. And, um, you know, I apologize again, like, if it made it sound like I was disrespecting anybody or anything like that. But that's just my whole thing. It's like, I sit there and I probably shouldn't let the chat affect me, but the chat's just like, where's the commentary? This commentary sucks, blah, blah, blah. And you can't count on the players being there because, you know, Sin and Marno were on there and then they had to go play and they both disappeared. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of an unfortunate situation, but... Um, I, I think it, I think it would be great if every tournament had commentary arranged. Mm -hmm. uh, not that every tournament should fly out us, I'm, you know, that's cool that they do, but mm -hmm. there should also be local commentators. Right. Is my uh -huh, point. Uh -huh. uh, so, I like that. I, I get it that for some events that is not the primary or even like quaternary concern. Like there's a lot mm -hmm. of other stuff that right. goes before that. So that it flies under the radar sometimes, I think is understandable. But it would be it would be nice, not not just for the people who are watching the stream immediately, but you know having a good stream also helps to bring people in for the next time and create right. awareness. And it's, mm -hmm. there's a there's utility in there. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. But in any case, um... yeah, and and Sammy, I totally agree. I think it's awesome when tournaments have commentary in their own language. It's kind of a bummer to me that there's always just English, although mm -hmm. that means I can understand it. Right. I don't really speak every language in the world. I, I think it's, it, you know, there's like a value in having the local commentators speak their, their language. Fighting Spirit did that. They did the whole tournament in Korean. The top eight was all Korean commentary, and I thought that was great. I think that's perfect for them to have that kind of situation. So. Yeah, I, I think that's I think that's cool. When we were in Kuwait, some of the commentary that was done by the other folks was in was in Arabic, which right. I think is cool. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Let's talk about the results here. So Street Fighter V Arcade Edition was a ranking event. Yes. So a bunch of sad ninth placers getting zero points. Eight, seven placers getting one point. One point. Basically zero points. <laughs> yeah. It's. <laughs> Not oh, ideal. All right. Well, those two players who did get one point were uh, Liquid John Takeuchi with Rashid and Talon Hot Dog 29 with M. Bison. Nobody's. They won't yeah, miss I it. Know, right? That won't matter for CPT 
points at all. Oh, God. Ugh. Ranking events are brutal. Brutal. Right brutal. brutal. Um, fifth place, DNG, Itabashi Zangief with Zangief and Abigail. And uh, fifth place, Razor Cien with Ibuki. You know, it's interesting because while he, Cien was doing commentary for like Fujimura matches, he was like calling Fujimura like the best Ibuki on the planet. Mm. So like, He's pretty good. Yeah, so he apparently uh, thinks very highly of him, but Fujimura did not place as high as Cien did. So. Hey. Hey. Uh, fourth place, Nasser Big Bird. Yeah. With Rashid, Ken, and Zeku. Yeah. It's a cool, cool trio of characters there. In fact, he blew up Gachakun with Zeku. Like, they played oh, each other, and okay. instead of mirror matching, he played Zeku, okay, and you could okay. just tell Gachakun was just like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he okay. was just like, what is going on with this character? And he got... He got... Dang, he got, he got busted, so... Third place, RB Bonchan with Nash and Karen. Yeah. And second place, CYG, BST, Fudo. Yeah. God, second I feel place, so bad. And he even tweeted afterwards, he was like... Maybe something I just get nervous and I just yeah. don't have the ability to win the thing. Yeah, you know? it's, it's gotta it's gotta cause you some introspection. Yeah, nothing else. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's too many second places. Ah, but first place, first place, UIU NL with Cami. Yeah, very it, and very impressively done it too. It begins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <coughs> Although, I will say what's kind of funny about that is that. Cami finally took first place. This is like the first major CPT win since like maybe season one, Xiao Hai winning something, right? Is that so? Yeah, she hasn't won any, like she didn't win anything in season two. Like she literally had zero wins, I think maybe of like main, like premieres and ranking yeah. events and stuff huh. like that. But obviously this is gonna start now, you know, especially with the recent patch, she's definitely the strongest, if not, you know, first or second strongest character. Definitely one of those at least. Yeah. And, um, but what's interesting is someone was saying, like, someone said to me, they're like, yeah, see, this is why I don't care about this season, because it's just going to be the best characters everywhere, right? Second place, Armika, third place, Nash. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Mika right. is uh, not bad, but, mm -hmm. you know, she's not top tier. She's, right. like, maybe not high tier. She's, like, mid or something like that. Like, mm -hmm. serviceable yeah. character. And Nash, I still feel like Nash is... On the lower end of things, I don't mm -hmm. think he's bottom tier, but I don't. Th I feel like he's just a step up above that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Bonchan, you know, barely beat Big Bird. Big Bird probably should have won, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. even still, he was ending up at fourth minimum. So, right. Yeah, uh -huh. it's, he played very, very well. Exactly. So, hey, I think um, I I don't think it's as bad as everyone says it is, and it's weird. Yeah, the balance because is fine. A lot of people talk about those, uh, like a lot of older games. It was like, oh, well, it's, it's not like, the, dude, the older games were far worse. And oh, you had, yeah, come on. and then everyone's always like, third strike was an imbalance. Look at Pierrot winning with Remy, you know? And it's like, dude, look. Third strike was busted. I can dude, tell you, right? as an aficionado, uh -huh, there's uh -huh. no, that balance is horrible. Yeah, I mean, as an aficionado of Super Turbo, I'm going to tell you that game yeah. is busted, busted as hell, Definitely. right? So. And that's the thing, but you'll still end up with those situations where people with a lower tier will win. But, you know, the, the real only main difference right now is obviously that money is on the line and points are on the line. And so a lot of people aren't going to just, I'll enter with my crappy character and lose and be like, ha ha. Right. Right. Now they're like, story. they're losing. And they're like, God damn it. I need those Capcom points. Right. Yeah. Because so, the thing is, as many times as, you know, Piero has probably done well with Remy and Co-op Cup. How many tournaments has he gone? Oh, and two. How many tournaments has Fair he gone? Question. Like one and five, you know, one and one and two, one, and, you know, or something mm -hmm. like that. So we you. don't know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I don't think that it's that imbalanced. When we were talking about this when the patch was first announced, right. I didn't think that the game would end up being really imbalanced. I was more upset at the patch because I thought a lot of it was unjustifiable. Right. But not that it would result in a terribly mm -hmm. imbalanced game. Mm-hmm. Akuma was zero tier in ST. He was not playable tier. Yeah. He was, Banned tier. Yeah. He never got any top eights. Cause like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except in Japan. Yeah, it was Japan. legal in yeah, Japan. Right. Yeah. But most people were just like, I'm not going to do man. that. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's messed up. Yeah. So, um, Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, fourth place was Kamikaze JD with Gotenks, Kid Buu, Vegeta. Third place, Game with Eita okay. with Let's Bardock, Eita. Cell, and Vegeta. Second place, GGVN Ice Cube with Bardock, Tin, and Goku. 
First place, yeah. Rise Marn with A Gohan, Team Gohan, and Vegeta. That's what made it interesting. Okay, yeah. I didn't I didn't watch. Yeah, team he Gohan. had he had a Team Gohan on his team. I so. don't think I've ever seen a competent well, certainly not in the last month or two. I haven't seen a Team Gohan look competent. Mm -hmm. I gotta check that out. Yeah. He, like, he what, did, what was, did, did you watch? Yeah, I saw the What title. was he doing? It's just I, he was being Dragon Marn. Stuff. He was being um, Marn. He was being Marn. And yeah. and I think Team Gohan no does more. have an uppercut, doesn't he? Or honestly, I don't remember. I haven't seen that character since probably week two. Yeah, but I mean, I think it was just mostly Marn, just kind of being Marn and, and and just going for things and just like falling into place for him. So, but right. he's obviously very strong in the game, and he did really well here. So, um, Ice Cube, Ata put up good fights with him, but Marn came through, he came from the loser side of the bracket to go up against uh, Ice Cube and took him out and it was almost, it was almost 6-0. Zykes. I think it was like 3-0 and then 3-1, I think it was. Oh, 3-0 and then 2-3, that's oh. right. He got to 5-0 and then Ice Cube won two in a oh. row. That's what it was, that's what it was. Yeah, 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 okay. He does have a DP. Yeah, like I said, I have to Yeah, the so I think that's too. just what it was, was that Martin was just like, I kind of remember when I was watching, he was just like DPing in the middle of things, yeah. you know? Yeah, okay. Just like finding the places. Sounds to, to get, Yeah, exactly. And it's not the Ice Cube. It's actually A-I-S-U-K-Y-U-B-U. -U -U, ice Cube. But like, that's, that's basically what it is. It's Ice Cube, so. Agreed. Yeah. Nah, the Ice Cube was in Saigon playing <coughs> Dragon Ball Fighters. That would be awesome, actually. That would be awesome, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. At least the coughing is not like like minute long. No, or, you're doing or, great. Yeah, okay. You're doing great. Fourth place for Tekken 7 was Jam Dookie with uh, Devil Jin and Jack 7. Third place, Atlas Bear Punko with Akuma and Geese. Second place, Talon Hot Dog 29 with Noctis, Claudio, and Lucky Chloe. I don't even know he played. I didn't know that either. Play, I didn't even know he played Tekken, but uh, first place was UIU John Ding, who I do know plays Tekken. You got it. Doing it with Lucky Chloe. Lucky Chloe, so there you go. Um, Good stuff. Guilty Gear, Exert Rev. Fourth place was Flick Johnny. Uh, third place was GGVN Soren Eno. Second place, GGVN Shin with Sin Kisk. First place, GGVN Puppy with Eno. So there wow. seems to be a pretty dominant group out there. Alrighty. So. Shout out to the Vietnamese players. Yeah. But uh, honestly, like, good stuff to the Saigon Cup team. You know, obviously they are doing, like, apparently they don't even charge venue fees, entry that, fees, or yeah. anything like that. They just do that just because they want people to play. So. Well, I heard that they do charge tournament entry fees just as oh, part of the, the prize money yeah yeah, 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 yeah but yeah, not like uh, a separate right yeah, fee. yeah yeah so you know shout out to them for putting on an event like yeah. that you know in in definitely tough situations look being a to i don't i don't envy any of them tough job yeah tough job so there you go all right all right so there you go okay oh ho chi minh city uh clutch yeah, you're right. Even here on SRK, it's just written as clutch. It's clutch. They gave up the nap town. Mm, okay. All right. So it's in uh, Indianapolis still, though. <coughs> this is not. This was not a ranking event, was it? Or? I don't. I don't think so. Okay. So this was just a bunch of guys coming here and playing it. Lots yeah. of funny things happening at this event That's too. That's true. So. Street Fighter Five Arcade Edition, seventh place. O H Palushina with Manat. Uh, and solid because I'm Batman with Jury. Uh, fifth place, Diablo Bison with Bison. NB ADC Duel Kevin with Rashid. All right. Fourth place, Random High Fives, Zangief and Balrog. Uh, three, uh, third place, Hazards Rob TV with Kyle and Cammy. Second place, Team Spooky Sabin with Dalsim. And first place, Splash with Laura. Yeah. So we were just talking about how Laura hasn't made a top eight at a ranking event. Probably still w Has won't not. count that way, right? Yeah. But uh, we did have a Laura winning this tournament here. Yeah, so. that, that, that was really good. I didn't get a chance to see any of the matches oh, I, there. I did. I watched a little bit of that. Okay, uh, cool. Like I said, I really enjoyed watching Art play. I just, I really like V-Trigger 2 for Dalsum. It, 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 it's so interesting, like yeah. the way that, they, they've, that Dalsum players have, have explored it. So he'll set it out and then... There's a whole complicated game plan around it. Like, does he go in immediately, or does he just let it hang out? Does he start ping ponging it around? Like, and then he's he's playing this mini game of like trying to find it on the other side and right. ping pong it back, Jeez. and he's just he's the, like batting it to himself. The fact it's that super they gave fun. him that 
and he's the character with the teleport. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's genius. It's sick. Like, I, I love Dalsum V Trigger too. Same. I think it's like one of the coolest V Trigger, the new V Triggers they added. Cause like, for sure. Like, is. you always see the person get past it and you're like, oh, it's like Ed's fireball. You got past it. You're good. And then all of a sudden, Yoga on the mm-hmm. side and then whoosh, shoots it back at you and you're like, God damn it. I'm still have to deal with this. It's, I don't know. I think it's cool. So. Yeah. Yeah. The, that and. <sighs> Being able to still move after EX Gale in the air, oh. like th- those, uh, that has resulted in him just being like this little crazy man of just in the right. air, moving around, moving around constantly. Right. Looks super fun. Okay. In any case, shout outs to Splash for beating him. Uh, he, well, l- look at the, is the score not, it's not there. No, there's no match um, stuff here. I think that the winner's finals was three to two. It was like really, oh, it was really okay, close. Okay. Or two out of three, whatever it was, but it was really close. Uh, did you see what happened with Rob TV and random high fives? Yeah, I did. I did. That was uh, the match where random high fives knocked him dizzy. To win. To win, yeah, because then Rob TV had no life left. He had a not even a jab of life left. Uh huh. But anything would have killed him at all. But then uh, random high fives. Did he? Did he manually pause it? Because he was like, "I win." No, no, no his stick or... just disconnected. And it paused. And Rob TV took that round. Ra- it was the last like, game, last it, round. It wasn't even a pause. It was just like stick to right, the next. Right, uh-huh. And Rob TV's like, I'm taking it. And yeah. take it. You know, like the, the rule is the, the players should not have the decision of taking it or not. That should just be the rule. Right, yeah, yeah, And for yeah, many yeah. tournaments, it is it the is, rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. the rule. That said, I really feel that this should have been part of the inevitable death rule. You do? You, I okay, really okay, do. You I, do. I feel like if this was like in front of some judge... That the judge would have interpreted the law to mean that this is inevitable death, like I, I, I really, I really do, because, because literally, and it's not like he had to hit a combo, which is you can screw up, right? I, there was, there was zero chance, barring something like this happening, that he wouldn't have won. Maybe a meteor hits, like it's like that level of, it's over. Yeah, but we, I feel like it's constructive. Uh, uh, inevitable death. What was the, uh, the the Street Fighter Four tournament very early on? Viper player with no life left activates ultra, gets blocked by the Sagat player, spins up, there, I remember that. comes I remember down, that. and then he ultras with Sagat, and it goes over I remember his head. That. But and he pops off, and then he ends even up that is more of a of a screw upable chance than being right next to the opponent. All you need is literally any button. Not, there's no execution requirement at all. There's no spacing requirement at all. You're there. I really feel like it should be constructive, inevitable death. <laughs> I really do, man. So yeah, I mean, I, 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 I don't, I don't think it's wrong for Rob to have taken it. In fact, I don't know if he was like, I'm, you know, like he probably. I don't know if it was like I'm taking it because that's the rule. Because that is the rule. He shouldn't have any say. That should. He have shouldn't just, have any say either. Way. He should have just gone to him. Naturally, unless someone said, "No, sorry, this is inevitable death." Yeah, rule. but right. but but regardless, it it's shouldn't not be his players. decision. Yeah. yeah, it's not his decision there. So, yeah, Liston versus Kenso. That's what it was a long time ago. Yeah. And I remember what you're talking about. It was hilarious. After the <coughs> Ultra Sagat is like recovering, and he crouches. Or I mean, she crouches lower than you would think. Sagat does Ultra, and he and goes like, like Woo! Yeah. over in the head. I remember. Yeah. It. But again, I just, it just like wasn't, I just, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. Right. I mean, like, what if he's like, oh, knocks him dizzy, and he's like, I'm ready to get you, and then he, like, falls out of his chair or something like that, you know? It's not going to happen, uh, right? It's <laughs> on. It's definitely over. <laughs> uh, he, yeah, he was stunned. Oh, right. Yeah, I, he was stunned. He yeah, was stunned. That's, uh, I don't know if we said that, but that's definitely part of the equation. Oh, no, no, no. He was, def- he was, I, I definitely he was mentioned stunned. He was stunned. He, yeah. had, he had 10 life left, like, right. something like uh, that, uh, and uh, it was just, ugh. I would have been mad. You know, if it was a ranking event, it would have been the difference of like two points or something like that. So, you know, it's like, what? I'm just kidding. Th- no, third no, to fourth know, matters, man. No, That's... I know, I know. I'm just joking. Yeah, I'm yeah. just joking. If it, was, if it was ninth to seventh, then you say, oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> uh, man. Uh, yeah, for sure, though. Uh, I mean, that's, again, up to the judge that's at the event. Yeah. And honestly, if he was like, nope, sorry, that's inevitable death rule, I would have no qualms yeah. with that at yeah. all. So. Yeah. All right, Dragon I Ball. I don't understand why he made the decision, or why whoever the judge was made the decision. Was right. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, seventh place, Circa Joey D, with Cell, Android 16, and SSJ Vegeta. Sick. All right. Uh, seventh place, also BXA Jackal, 
with Broly, Kid Buu, and Goku Black. Fifth place, MG Macho with Kid Buu, uh, Adult Gro Gohan, Goku Black, and ADC Ken with Krillin Tien and SSJ Goku. Wow. Fourth place, CAETP with Cell, Goku Black, and uh, Vegeta. This person's not spelling Vegeta right here, which is yeah. really bothering me. Yeah. Third place, NB Twitch A, Twitch A with uh, Cell, A16, and Vegeta. And for, uh, second place, Echo Fox to Kill Sage with Grohan, Black, and A16. And first place in full furry regalia, Sonic Fox, Echo Fox, Sonic Fox with Cell, Gotenks, and Kid Buu. Yeah, that's the team he's been picking up over the last little mm -hmm. while. Ever since he lost to Goichi, he's yeah. been picking that team up, and you can see that it's really worked out Yeah, so, I mean, well. Cell is super good. Kid Buu is super good. I mean, they're definitely more top tier. I'm surprised he doesn't have an A16 left on his team. No, I think Go Gotenks is basically the same character as A16 in a lot of ways. His offense is... I, I feel like it might end up being trickier than... Or maybe it already is trickier than Adult Gohan's. He doesn't have the DP, but I feel like his offense is just as wild, mm -hmm. if not wilder. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a cool pick. Uh, very cool to see Krillin in there with Ken. Or yeah. from Ken. That's awesome. And then also really cool to see Joey D. Uh, you know, this game has brought together every scene. Right. But I feel like what we haven't had is like a top Tekken player convert himself to a Dragon Ball player. Is Joey D a Marvel player? Oh, my, dude, I'm totally thinking of uh, Joey Fury. Yeah, Joey D is a yeah, Marvel player. Yeah, he is player. definitely a Marvel yeah, yeah, player. Yeah, he's a Marvel player. So. You're right. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, Darn it. That would have been cool. Yeah, man. I know, right? <laughs> I know, I would have been having, because that's what we were talking about that last week, that we still haven't yet seen that yeah. Tekken player no, get right. in you're there. So. Right. Um, okay. Well, speaking of Tekken, Tekken 7, uh, fourth place was Comatose CW with Claudio and Geese. Third place was Jaime with Lars and Kazuya. Second place, um, NAH5, CONQ, Logic with Law, Jin. And uh, first place was Jody the Great with Lee. Nice. And then Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Uh, fourth place was Not Enough Damage, Ultron, Doctor Strange. It says seventh place is KP. That wasn't Katana Prime, was it? Kinder Party. Kinder Party. Ah, oh, okay. You're right. Okay. Uh, let me go through all of them then. Okay, yeah. so NB, ADC, Static, Alpha with Winter Soldier, Strider, Kinder Party with Venom and Thanos. Fifth place was MG Macho with Dante Dormammu, and fifth place was also Abak with Hagger Dante. Fourth place, Not Enough Damage with Ultron, Doctor Strange. Third place, Echo Fox, The Kill Sage with Jetta Dante. Second place, Hitbox Punisher with Raccoon and Hawkeye. And once again, first place, NB, ADC, Dual Kevin, with Hawkeye and Dante. So he's the best Marvel Infinite player. Right now, yeah. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's a challenge at this yeah, point. Uh, he I wins mean, every tournament. Maybe it's to. a challenge or whatever. It doesn't matter. He's been winning them all. So yeah. I think he is pretty much the best right now. Even, you know, tournaments with Chris G and stuff like that. He's been defeating Chris G as well. So. By the way, I asked Sonic Fox and he is not playing Marvel anymore. Oh, really? He just stopped, huh? Okay. Okay. Because I haven't even seen him enter NLBC or anything he's like that. He's not playing that, it. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, seventh place in Injustice 2 was Ragnarok TYR with uh, Scarecrow Woo. and Semi-Evil Ryu with Superman. Fifth place is Follow Your Dreams. <laughs> Hashtag Follow Your Hashtag Dreams, Hashtag Follow Your Dreams with no information. Okay. I don't even know if that's real or if that's a placeholder or something. Great question. Fifth place was also BXA Jackal with Black Manta. Fourth place, GGA Shady with Supergirl and Batman. Uh, third place, Grolix with Wonder Woman. Second place, Brito Voorhees with a Swamp Thing, Gorilla Grodd, Bane, and Cyborg. First place, Echo Fox, Sonic Fox, Black Manta, and Red Hood. You know, Brito Voorhees is very much a man after my own heart when it comes to character selection. Mm -hmm. He likes to play the weird grappler slash zoner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So I want to root for him. And but I you can't just, do it because of the can't, name. I can't bring myself to say, go, Burrito Voorhees! Like, so like can you imagine, I, like, I'm in the crowd. I'm just picturing myself in the crowd. And I'm like, yeah, let's go, Burrito Voorhees. Like, I, I can't get through the, the word. I can't get through the Voorhees. Because the, the be funny thing him. is, like, you kind of like the goofy names, right? But, yeah, I love goofy names. But that one is just, it, it's not even as, like, Fart Boner would be way better to yell out thousand than, times than better. Burrito Voorhees. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Burrito Voorhees. Oh, man. People like 
the name Burrito Voorhees? Of course, formerly Forever King Jr., right? Yeah, so, I get why he wouldn't yeah. want to take his brother's name effectively. Yeah, and that make himself sense. a junior. You don't want to be a junior of your older brother. That yeah. sucks. Yeah, right? it definitely does. Like, CD Jr. had the same issue. Yeah, yeah, he wants yeah. to be called Manny now. It's really, right, I get right, that. Right, I yeah, totally yeah. get it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But Burrito Voorhees is your choice? I, come on. <laughs> Anyway, shout out to Sonic Fox for being the best. That's yep. pretty cool. Uh, he did win Injustice and Dragon Ball in the first suit. Right. Uh, uh-huh. Which I, you know, I, there's like an article about it. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Rick Fox tweeted him about it and was like, cool. And it kind of blew up more than I think even he thought that it was right, going yeah, to. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, so, uh-huh. Uh, you know, it, it's cool. Like, uh, I don't know. Did you see, him, like a big did you deal see the Sonic Fox Yipes interactions, though? Yes, I did. Those and, are... Those were pretty funny. Those were funny. Yeah. He got the boop. He did get boop. He got the boop. Yeah. So, um, no, but shout outs, uh, honestly, to Sonic Fox. I mean, I can't even imagine playing in costume is even that easy because, like, is it as easy to see? You know what I mean? Just like when you're in a costume like that. Good question. But I mean, I I know uh, Fire Liga has, you know, played before, like, dive kick in full costume and stuff like that. That's true. And he even had it. Sonic Fox, I saw his hands were, like, bare. He didn't have, like, the things on. Oh, okay, okay. But... I remember Fire Liger, I think his hands, his, his uh, gloves or whatever it is, I think there's like a excert, oh, the little where he exit, can, like, where he can like put uh, his hands out of okay. it. I think that's what but it I mean, dive kick, you don't need it, right? You're that's just, true. Like, yeah, dive just kick, you're just individual. like, boof, boof, boof. so there you go. So, uh, but yeah. Anyway, that, that's cool. Be yourself. Yeah. Congratulations cool to Sonic Fox. So. Yeah, there you go. Um, that's all I have for the results there. Uh, anything else happening this weekend, That this past weekend? Hey, yeah. I did uh, commentary for the Cell Games. Oh, that's right. Yeah, on yeah. stream.me uh-huh. slash DBZ. Uh, stream.me is trying to make a go of it at being competitive with Twitch. That's obviously tough, but they're trying to make it work. And I, they have a really good platform. So check it out. It's an online series that mm-hmm. will be going on for the next couple of months. Uh, free to enter. Didn't like Hook Gang God win that or something like that? Hook Gang God, yes indeed. Okay. Uh, no, he got second place. Black won it. KH Black won it. Oh, okay. Beating okay. Hook Gang God. Hook Gang God was coming from losers too. He got sent there oh, earlier. Dang. So okay. they were good. they're actually good players that show up. Uh, you can enter for free. You win money every week nice. uh, entering. And it is a good platform to watch the stream on too. So check it out. Uh, stream.me okay. slash DBZ. It's. Uh, it's not even pools, DBS, pools yeah. to top eight on Saturday, okay. midday Saturday, and then the top eight is Monday from five to eight oh, Pacific time. Okay, so it's Saturday and Monday. Saturday and Monday. Okay. Yeah, it's trying not to conflict with you know other events and stuff. Right. Doesn't okay. want to get finals day. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, yeah. Okay. Check it out. They do cool stuff.